back to the channel. It's been a while. How are you guys? This time I am bringing you to Europe with me to spend Christmas. Christmas in Europe has been on my bucket list for the longest time since I discovered Pinterest, probably in my high school days. So this trip is extra special. Well, there's also another cherry on top because it is also a trip for our honeymoon. So you will see Kelvin sprinkled around in the videos. We've been to four different countries, well five if you include Vatican and also eight very unique cities. We get to listen to Vivaldi's Four Seasons live in a church, I think during Christmas. And we also went skiing and tried cheese fondue in Switzerland as well. So it's going to be a long video. It's going to be a long series. As usual, I'll link everything I mentioned in the description box below. I'm thinking of doing a blog that will include our itinerary. Um, so that will be updated sometime. Yeah, so come check back when the series are getting updated. I hope that this will help plan your trip to Europe. If you're thinking about spending time over there in Christmas and soaking up the vibes, I highly recommend it because I think I did a quite a good job planning the trips. We did a whole loop that made sense and each different cities provide different activities and experiences if that makes sense. So if you're here for the vibes, grab a cup of tea. I have mine which is a souvenir from Munich. Let's get into the video. I'm so ready for all the Christmas parts that's still coming. On point. <laughs> all right. I just can't believe it. One morning I'm in Singapore and next I'm in this beautiful city. How surreal is this? For the first time in my life, I get to see a real Christmas tree, not the ones that are from Kmart. I've just been wandering around this afternoon. There's really not much happening. I'm waiting for the sun to set, for the lights to switch on in the Christmas market so everything will just look prettier and right now I'm just going around exploring this beautiful city It's been snowing here all the way when I came from Frankfurt this morning It's definitely getting colder because when the snow starts to melt it gets really chilly and right now I think probably 5 degrees This morning when I got here it was one degree. This is what I'm wearing right now. Honestly, I don't think it's enough. Oh, TD. It's a little bit thin. I rushed out just now because I don't want to miss the Christmas market. There's a lot to do. So I rushed out and I forgot my scarf and my beanie back at a hotel. <laughs> so I'm at the Imperial Castle. <laughs> didn't even know what was that. That was nice. It didn't really look like a castle to me, but it was great. Ah, I just love being here alone. 
Who makes you think? I'm just gonna do some street photography with my trusty camera. I really enjoy the color palettes of all the houses. Every house has these same beautiful colors. It's almost pastel looking. I love it. <laughs> It's almost Christmas. It's a 20th today. I miss everyone home. But also it's very refreshing to be in a new city. Kelvin has been knocked out. I'm all ripped up. Mm. It's very cold just now. This is oh. what I'm wearing now. Uh, same thing, she's added a scarf. I'm wearing a puffer. Woo! Nice, man, you look really toasty. I know, it's gonna be so cold. Yeah! <laughs> I think the Christmas markets, or just the streets in general, just slowly come together after work hours and it just looks great so lively look at that kinder how excited are you like, no. very excited first time I've seen a christmas market or even just been in germany it's so nice it's like a mix of medieval and modern yeah. cobblestone i never understood when people say cobblestones on the streets now i'm like yeah it's just everywhere by the way, it's not even six yet. Is it six? Just six. Oh. Damn. This is, this place is, this is we're, we're there. We're there. Right. Welcome to the Christmas market. Welcome to the Christmas market. We're here. <gasps> Finally, gone to a Christmas market in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that we don't expect coming to a Christmas market is the amount of people that are here. It's crazy! I am on a hunt for glue wine. Hey! That one, that one. There, right there, babe. That's the one. Let's go get that. Oh, yeah. That's what we need. Let's go. Sausages. I feel like I can't read anything. You can see glue vine. This is easier than in uh, Korea. Korea, I'm totally. Korea lost. is like I can tell. No, I can't even read what's in, in there. In Korea. I feel Here, like it's, least... it's like half my culture because I consume the drama, you know? Yeah, but you can't read any The K drama. <laughs> and now I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> Well, it's fun. Yeah, good it's fun. Is there. But good very vibe. stressful. We found it. Yeah, we found it. We got it. We got. We got the glue wine. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Your stock of glue wine. Perfect. Seven euro, please. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it looks so good. Right. Go ahead. How is it? Oh. Is it good? It's good. <laughs> it's good. Nice. 
What does it taste like? Tell me. Strong? Is it spicy? Yeah. Is it an orange, cinnamon? What kind of spices? <laughs> oh, that's great. See the cup. See it. Oh, that is cute. Oh my gosh, yes. That's cute. Very cute. All right. Thank you. Yeah. She was more beautiful. The bruise was much better.